Hello guys, I'm Andrei Vinokurtsev and as usual I'm start with small presentation. I'm going to share my knowledge about recent facts that I found when try to investigate if I can decode faster than I currently decoding 4K H.264 streams. As far as I know, as you know, the 4K is quite big resolution and if we can decode it faster than we can decode Let's see what my finding and what I can recommend how to do it faster than I found. Start from the first slide. This is currently a confusing slide. We're going back to the slide. Let's see first some questions. Why 4K is too slow? It's really too slow. And even First of all, 4K is about 496 on to 116 resolution. It's four times bigger than 1080p, and you will expect it should be slower. But how slow you will expect it to be decoded? And we're talking about decoding, not encoding. Naturally, H.264 is not intended to be developed for 4K, but actually st standard support is up to 60 fps what i've tested is mostly 25 30 fps and it was really slow because it's tensed with the frames in the same frame now i'm mostly using ffmpeg i do love ffmpeg and i won't use ffmpeg properly and still support the coding 4k resolution but ffmpeg itself wasn't developed to support this high resolution therefore it looks like slow then uh, by taking this to account then 4k decoded on through the ffmpeg really slow can we reuse gpu acceleration to support to make it faster let's see what i find out now we can back to the slides which is actually more important now and we're possibly going back again to the slides. First, I want to present some my uh, my research on both machines. One, it's Intel Xeon E3 1240 3.4 GHz, and uh, graphic cards is Radeon 7700. 7, 7, and the second one is a little bit faster. It's Xeon E5. It's the same 3.4, but uh, the graphic card is Radeon R7200. Let's see first, it's possibly like this, yeah. The table is as how many clients can I support on the machine? If you take 4K H264 stream, now let's put in proportion. I've, start, I've tried to make the same bitrate for each stream. And it's a real-time stream getting from the CCTV camera. Then, in fact, it's not just playback of something. Is the camera is send the stream. This format 4K. I've tried to keep the gop the same for all of them for four second, which means every keyframe is iframe, iframe per four, per four second. Then, if we assign 30 FPS, it's 100. 120 frames keyframe which keyframe is about 100 millisecond for this machine just to decode and if you can take to, to, to the renderer and all the other processes is quite slow then you want to be iframe as slow as uh, as long as possible then i've achieved for the this machine let me show this machine again for this machine five streams before it start to be delayed and before i start to see the drops and for 25 fps is seven streams only i could achieve still with this cpu much higher rate like eight or nine but each the previous decoder start to delay the next decoder then it is multi-threaded application i I've, I've tested it with Indigo Vision VMS and with VLC because both underline use FFmpeg 
it should be the same results and I did and I've got the same results absolutely the same results then 5 stream for 30 fps 7 for 25 fps if you take the proportion for 20, 1080p for example this is 1080p with this same promise 20, 20 streams which is look like okay you make four times bigger resolution and you achieve the same number of streams 5 or 4 20 or 7 it look like okay it is clear now but I won't just take five cameras to one big machine now just to make the proportion JPEG 2000 which is I took 20, 20 megabit per second which is resolution like this unfortunately it's just 5 fps it's about 10 I can do on this machine the machine is pretty it's very dense and good machine to use five clients is look to me very little number and if it takes the next machine this one which is could support more frame mo more streams but the results are clearly look worse than the previous 4 and 6 just for 20 25 and 30 fps and uh, not good not good then I thought next one okay I can improve myself to making GPU decoding but can I make GPU decoding actually and, and make it faster let's see what I found first of all what is actually mean GPU acceleration let me just small recap we have few times of G few few the different types of GPU accelerations and you can reuse and it's much what the idea is to take your processing power and make through the another unit which can be very helpful for example in the decoding process or in the encoding process or in video analytic process you just take your job which is run on CPU and instead of running the same CPU just reuse somebody else CPU which is in this case is GPU and it's some optimized and it's dedicated memories and it should be really fast and should be really handy only if you know how to connect all the data together <laughs> not to uh, actually delay all your process then let's see what actually we can use first is DXVA2 which is DirectX video accelerator it's hardware acceleration improves video encoding and decoding it's really improved by routing the work to the GPU. Next one, it is Intel QuickSync. It's type of the same hardware acceleration, which improves the same video encoding and decoding through the special dedicated processor. And CUDA, Compute Unified Device Architecture. This is actually it's developed by NVIDIA and give direct access to the GPU virtual instruction. Now I've used AMD, which I couldn't use CUDA. I've used uh, AMD processor of GPU, and what I've tried to uh, and I've and used DXVA2. Therefore, I'm going to talk only on DXVA2 right now, which is actually the, the interface of DXVA2, give, uh, developed by Microsoft, and then I can route my decoding process through this interface. To run all my decoding there. How actually it does work? It's if if you uh, look for the decoding is complicated structure, and we're not going to touch it today. But if you take the processes which is decoders using like IDTC, which is quite dense mathematical mathematical uh, formulas or motion compensation or the interlacing all of this let's see the bigger picture of what I want to show for example a poor video HD is called GPU of the AMD then if you see on the left on the bottom side Kaba Kavalk or IDTS motion compensation deblocking this is just poorly down to the GPU unit then CPU itself almost not utilized 
when it's a st standard case, if you're not using GPU, all of the same instruction you use only CPU and GPU not. Then we can understand that it might be possible to reuse GPU and get better picture, like not better picture by quality, but faster picture, fast decoding time. Therefore, very non-powerful computer like tablet, they do use GPU if they have inside, and then they still can decode, even if the CPU is very slow. Uh, then I've tried to, to achieve the same with 4K decoding a H.264. Now, let's be in proportion, not try 1080p. I'm pretty happy with 1080p I have right now. I wasn't happy with 4K. And what I found, I found a few things. First, FFmpeg use DXVA interface. It does have DXVA interface. I can just route my work through this. And VLC uses FFmpeg actually and switch to DXVA. Now, AMD actually called Unified Video Decoder and you can read it on the internet. And Nvidia, when in the opposite use poor video, is actually interface through DXVA that run on the GPU unit itself. Actually, the finding what I found, even if I used, I've used quite four different uh, AMD graphic cards, which is pretty expensive, Radeon. 770 2000 or w4 it's none of them support 4k decoding they do support up to 1080p or 1080i now you can see it by in, if you installing gpu md monitor and when you click the vlc and routing the box through the xva you can definitely see that the gpu not in use for 4K decoding video. It was quite, I'm impressed by this, that 4K is still not supported by AMD, even if they claim that they do support, maybe some of the special graphic cards supporting, but none of them that I've used supported. NVIDIA as well have plenty of graphic cards that you can just <laughs> try to see which one you need to buy. But in fact, what I found is that Maxwell Amico architecture is capable of decoding 4K videos, but I've not tried it. None others are supporting 4K as well as they've just supported 1080p. And I'm not sure that 4K video is supported by GPU acceleration. Now, Actually, what I wanted to achieve, I've achieved with my, my BMS of Indigo Vision 6, 7 clients, which is pretty good performance by comparing to others. For example, Exis Open VMS only support, and they do, do claim that it uses GPU, but IPVM actually found that even GPU on and off, it doesn't, the same as me, found 4K non-supported through GPU, it's mainly because the graphic card doesn't support it. Where actually GPU is used then, if it's not used for decoding? It does be heavily used in video analytic, because in fact video analytic is very dense computation models and you can route through GPA, GPU unit. Uh, let be clear, I won't still want to get 4K decoding quite fast, even if I limit it by my hardware. And how I can ge get give to the customer good solution and still produce 4K decoding? The first fast solution possibly is like this: is decode 4K video from the CCTV camera but sent to the client only secondary stream, for example, secondary stream in small resolution, and record, of course, 4K resolution to NVR, then the playback will be limited to just one stream. Hopefully, with this solution, you can support much more than 20. 
than 40 or 60 clients per one client which is quite good I think uh, it's all for today thank you very much for listening I'm Andrey Vinokurtsev and this is 2016 possibly in 2017 we will see GPUs that do support 4k and I will continue with my presentation thank you very much bye bye